San Manuel Band of Mission Indians hosted the annual Yucca Harvest Celebration, where tribal members and guests had the opportunity to listen to traditional native music, view a demonstration on how yucca is harvested, receive instruction on how blossoms are processed and cooked, make crafts, and finally, eat delicious food. We've had the Yaka Harvest now for over 10 years. We start this program as a way to get culture moving on the reservation and identifying the plants. The Yaka Harvest deals with the collection of the flowers of the Yaka plant, also the stock and getting the fiber from the leaves itself. And we have some uh, demonstrations for those. We have the flowers that we actually pick off of the, uh, the Whippala Yaka that we pick it from. We get the flowers there and then we boil them. Um, two to three times getting some of that bitterness out and then we put it inside some of the foods that we eat. Along with that comes the rope that we get from the plant itself. From the Whippalayaka, this is the green leaf that's coming out from all those different pokers that are there. And inside this leaf is actually fiber that you make rope out of. So you can see from this, there's fiber inside of it and that came from this straight, this same leaf. The plant itself, the Whippalayaka to our people, Serrano people, is the most utilitary uh, plant for us because we get rope, we get food, there's also soap at the root, and then once they dry out, you can make the arrow quivers out of them. Once it's old, the seeds have already germinated, so the seeds are all out of it. You can pick it, and then you start to core out the inside to make sure you could carry things in it. These are the things that um, we're gonna be talking about today. We do have an array of um, bird singers that come out with us, friends from Morongo, uh, friends from uh, Palm Springs, um, Luceños also, but a lot of us learn Kuiya bird songs from Mr. Robert Levi, who's taught us this culture that's here. And we'll sing some um, bighorn sheep songs that were, to, were taught to us by Mr. Ernest Siva. Later on, we'll have our invited guests down, the Miwok people, to be able to celebrate with us the beginning of the yucca plants. And what is so important about it is because now on the valley floor, the yucca plants, the Whippala yucca is blooming in our area. And at the higher elevations, like below running springs, they're barely starting to sprout. So you can see when spring starts to happen, the villages would be on the valley floor and they will follow the plant life up into the mountaintop, into those ranges. Yesterday we went out and collected the blossoms from the yucca plant. And we were up on ladders picking the plants from it, not cutting the stock down. Because if we cut the stock down, then you stop the whole germination process of the seeds being able to replant themselves. Each one of these that you see blooming that now has the white heads on them with the blossoms, it took them seven to eight years to even get to that point. And then they're gonna, that's their lifespan. So now they actually germinate, those seeds come out of some of those flowers and those pods that are there. So now what we're doing in pro, and before, our people would actually be around the villages and you would actually go up and pick the flowers, not cutting the stock down. Now, there's those that are going out and cutting the stock, which is okay, but let's remember that if we start to take those seeds away, we're denying some plants of being, um, being actually born um, to be able to create that, create that life cycle of food for us the next seven years. <laughs> 